Hello guys, welcome to daily updates on market. Today we will be looking at gold. Uh, I will show you what I have been recently spotting. I believe uh, gold will be climbing in upcoming months quite a lot. And this is the zone we have been looking at for a couple of weeks with my team recently. And with the long cliff. So this was a weekly zone which broke the structure and uh, actually hold it this maybe structure and after that we took some longs I'll show you in a couple seconds so currently uh, this was the zone let me go to daily first so as you can see I will mark some structural points which have been there so after that after this low we could pretty much mark this one this one these were the points we would be searching for longs in here. Let me adjust it a little bit. Okay. So yeah, because uh, as you can see, this was stuffing the new zones, which are looking pretty nice to be shorted from. This is the area we would short from before. Uh, if you would drop down on a lower time frame, you would see this clear momentum candle, which broke this recent low. And you could refine it to a smaller zone, which would be like this. And you could pretty much short from this area. And so yeah, this was the structural high. I'll show you this is a past setup, but it is very important for our upcoming state. So uh, once we hold it this area again and we didn't break this new low, we started coiling up a little bit, uh, some ranging before we actually moved to the upside. And as you can see, this move actually broke the structure in here. And after that, we will be looking for longs at this area, which is not tested yet. So we can definitely see it again. Just keep it uh, in mind that we might coil up back again, or I not I don't mean coil up, but come back uh, to this zone again. Uh, we'll drop to one arrow right now. So as you can see, these are the ranges before the clear momentum shift. We can again refine these candles for a last sell candle before the clear momentum here and I will drop you some levels in a couple seconds just let me adjust the zones a little bit so we can have a more precise zones of structure and I expect gold to climb down to these zones in upcoming weeks uh, because we didn't touch these yet we didn't any or, or we didn't somehow come back to test them which are uh, which are the areas where multiple and big whales are having some unfilled or orders uh, this zone can actually uh, turn upside from 1711 so uh, 1712 1711 is the zone you should be looking at and as well as 1673 um, yeah so these zones broke the structure as well as this you could see here zone as well on lower time frame we would see a range in this little zone you can see here's the little range you could test this little area as well it's very important to keep track of these unmitigated zones and on the one hour current time frame we can see some nice setup that we had these are the zones we were looking at recently and these are the trades that I took uh, this week pretty much so we had another break of structure on lower time frame pretty much the moves on every single time frame are the same the market is quite uh, working in fractals you can see 
the same things all over again just on different time frames you would see the same even on one second time frames which we are using as well for our trading for entries you can pretty much refine from one hour up to one second time frames and you can get perfect entries with like two stop loss two pip stop loss so yeah but let's jump into trades that we had this month or this week pretty much so these were the zones oh this one is wrong color these were the zones that we were looking for so i had to mark this one this demand and this supply zone and let's jump into lower time frame again five minutes we had a little range in here which on 50 minute would be pretty precise that would be last cell candle and as you can see this was the confirmation for short but it rejected to go lower uh, not below the strength so I stopped uh, this sh long or I mean short after it went into upside and I started looking for some longs which ended up in this one we marked the last range on 15 minute again which I took longs from the upside this is pretty simple uh, but you can take every single step this is what I am just looking for I will show you the trades that we had before and what I would be looking at this week so currently we are reject rejecting to break high um, if we look at the 4 hour we can see that we have been also stepping up to this supply zone 4 hour I expect some kind of touch that would uh, break the structure as well a little bit right now it seems like we will be breaking this but we have left some unmitigated uh, li uh, liquidity in here so I believe we will drop down to this level which is 1774 this week uh, if that doesn't hold we might see the lower levels as I told you before and currently I'm was running some longs I still have them open I took some position uh, I took some of my profits in the area above right in here and when I saw the split I was waiting if to tap uh, in here for confirmation and then pretty much I exited the long currently uh, as you can see there's some ranging we didn't really break both sides so I am waiting patiently it's gonna happen next week and yeah because today is Friday or it's actually not it's Saturday sorry I lost a little bit I got quite stuck in time I have been working some on some stuff lately and yeah so I will update you probably on Monday we'll see what's gonna happen next and so this has been gold for today's week and today's day uh, it's we are start starting this series so I it was a little bit messy I will have to quite uh, change my view on this and once we have like three or four episodes I think we will be okay to so you we will just continue and you can pretty much just join the conversation as well it's gonna be a little messy today but yeah see you on the next one and so don't forget these zones can still be valid this yellow one is speculative it broke the side uh, it, it might just fill this wick and go above but be very careful about this one you want to see a pretty much flip on lower time frame you would see some lows highs and you would want to see break of structure on lower time frame so yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time